Knobscott Hill. Knobscott Hill is a last name for a high point in Middlesex County, Massachusetts, with many public hiking trails, and the hill is located in Framingham and Sudbury. At the summit are various radio towers and a fire tower. Below the summit of Knobscott Hill is the Knobscott Scout Reservation, 452 acres, which includes Tipling Rock, a popular viewing location. Surrounding the hill are other large parks and parcels of conservation land, including the Knobscott Conservation Land, 118 acres, Callahan State Park, 958 acres, the Sudbury Wasteblatt Conservation Land, and Wittenborg Woods, 83 acres, which are connected by various hiking trails, including the Bay Circuit Trail. Geography, Geography, Geography the summit of Knobscott Hill commands a 360-degree view including Boston, Metro West, the Blue Hills Lower Kearsarge, Mount Monadnock, Mount Wachusett, Mount Agamenticus, and all of the unremarkable bumps to the southwest. Currently, the foliage obscures much of the view from the summit unless one climbs the fire tower when it is open, but other nearby viewing points, including nearby Jethro's Table and Tipling Rock, offer an unobstructed views to Boston. Other smaller hills surround Knobscott, including Doskin Hill to the west, which was named in the 17th century after someone who lost a deerskin glove on the hill, and Tantavis Hill to the east, which was named after the medicine man who lived on Knobscott. History By 1657 the area appeared in the records by the name Penobscot, meaning place of the falling rock, and was later shortened to Knobscott. Knobscott was considered a spiritual place for the Nipmuc people who resided in the area, and there was also a large stone cairn at the summit which possibly served as a lookout area for the Indians. A Nipmuc medicine man named Tantamis, also known as Old Jethro, and his son, Peter Jethro, and twelve others, lived on Knobscott Hill prior to King Philip's War when they were removed in 1675 to Deer Island. The Jethros had orchards and cornfields on the sides of the hill, and many large Indian grinding stones are still viewable. Jethro's field at Knobscott was referred to in the records by 1649, and references were also made to Peter's field and Concubine's field in various deeds. Tippling Rock may have been used to communicate between local Indian villages. The rock was blasted in half in the early 20th century, possibly. Jethro also had a granary and cairn lookout, which was rebuilt in 1927 and was 8 feet in diameter and 5.5 feet tall, with a flat smooth stone on top. In the 1700s Revolutionary War General, John Nixon lived and farmed on the north side of Knobscott Hill, and the remnants of his house are viewable. During a 1792 outbreak of smallpox, a pest house was constructed at the base of Knobscott for quarantining the sick, and a small burial ground was built for victims. The area around Knobscott was used for farming for many years. Henry David Thoreau visited Knobscott in the 1850s and wrote views of the hill and about a waterfall near the hill. In the 1920s and 1930s, Henry Ford purchased hundreds of acres of land around Knobscott Hill and the Wayside Inn to recreate an authentic early American village, similar to what he eventually built at Greenfield Village in Michigan. Ford constructed a large dam at the base of the hill in the 1930s to create a reservoir to support firefighting near his proposed village, but the dam failed to hold water and is now known as Ford's Folly and can be visited by the hiking trails around Knobscott. In 1928, the Boy Scouts purchased a large reservation on Knobscott Hill, which is still owned by the organization, but the area is open to the general public as invited guests. In 2008, a 303-acre 1.23 km2 portion of the Knobscott Scout Reservation in Sudbury was permanently conserved by Sudbury Valley Trustees, the town of Sudbury and the Mayflower Council, Boy Scouts of America. Equals equals, references equals equals, equals.